Hello! For this video, I will be telling you how to apply as a Student Teacher Emergency Certified Substitute for the Spring 2022 semester. First, we will go over the policies required. EPSB Waiver On August 16, 2021, the Education Professional Standards Board voted to continue to conditionally waive 16 KAR 5040 Section 5, 6, and 7 to allow experience that a student teacher acquires as an emergency certified substitute teacher to meet the requirements of student teaching during the 2021 to 2022 school year. Section 5 of the regulation establishes the requirements of severity 70-day student teaching placement consistent with the certification program that the student teacher is pursuing. This section also contains the following limitations on the student teaching experience. A student teacher shall not have responsibility for the supervision or instruction of P through 12 students without the direct supervision of a certified educator. And a student teacher shall not receive direct compensation for student teaching. The rationale for this was that as a result of the pandemic, many student teachers were unable to obtain experience in the classroom and many districts were unable to secure a certified substitute teacher. The proposed waiver would help to meet the needs of both district and student teachers during the pandemic. And so, this continues. EKU's Policy in an effort to support the shortage of substitute teachers that our partner districts are currently facing, while simultaneously assuring that our student teachers are placed in environments in which they can successfully practice their teaching skills, a College of Education Administrative Committee agreed to pilot the following policy for Spring 2021 in response to the EPSB waiver that is summarized above. This policy will now continue for the 2021 through 2022 school year. EKU's policy allows that their candidates who are student teaching in the spring of 2022 to complete and apply a maximum of 10 days of substitute teaching to their certification requirements following the stipulations and guidelines as outlined above. When a substitute is needed, candidates will remain in their assigned classrooms while the cooperating teachers move to the classroom for which the substitute was requested. When the cooperating teacher is the one requesting a substitute, the student teacher will remain in that classroom and step into the substitute teaching role. In both situations, the student teacher will be compensated for teaching under emergency substitute certification according to their assigned district salary schedule. The Qualifications To be eligible for the student teacher emergency certification substitute pilot program, Candidates must meet the following qualifications. Minimum of a 2.75 overall cumulative GPA. No professional improvement plan or dispositional issues. And they must complete the application process. For the application process, student teachers will be asked to fill out an application. On this application, the candidate will provide or secure the following information. Name, ID number, contact information, and assigned placement. Their level of interest. Candidates can opt out of participation in substitute teaching during their student teaching experience with no penalty. If the student teacher chooses to opt out, there is no need to complete the application. They will also need a recommendation letter from a College of Education faculty member. Apply for and secure an emergency substitute teaching certificate. You will need to work with your district to complete this step. The explanation and stipulations. Candidates will be allowed to count a maximum of 10 days of substitute teaching in the spring 2022 semester towards the 70 required student teaching days. If the candidate is completing two placements, they can count a maximum of five days in the first placement and a maximum of five days in the second placement, or the full ten in a single placement. Candidates must have completed at least ten days within their first placement and at least five within their second placement of student teaching 
in person or virtually, before they can begin to substitute teach in their assigned placement. In single placements, 10 days must be completed. Partnership Rights and Responsibilities the district must approve EKU's emergency certified substitute policy during student teaching before it will go into effect in any of their schools. Districts and schools will inform EKU each time that a student teacher is asked to substitute teach so records can be kept by the Office of Professional Education Services. Schools will provide EKU student teachers with the name of a person in the school to whom they can reach out if any concerns arise while they are substitute teaching. Candidates will still be expected to complete all of the student teaching expectations, such as assessments, observations, etc., in a timely manner. Student teaching must remain a priority. Even when candidates have not opted out of the program, they still have the right to opt out of a single substitute teaching request if a professional or personal obligation conflicts. This completes the policy requirements and now we will talk about the application process. This is the application to apply for a student teaching emergency certified substitute program. Here is information about the program that was read through the policy. Please be advised that this in no way changes the student teaching requirements and all requirements must still be completed evaluated by supervisors, and entered into task stream as specified on the course syllable and protocol. The days that you substitute teach, however, will be counted toward your 70-day requirement. EKU candidates with current professional improvement plans or dispositional issues will not be allowed to participate in this pilot program. To qualify for this program, candidates must complete the following. You must work with your district to file for an emergency substitute certified certificate. Then you will need to complete the application below and obtain one faculty recommendation to be included with the application. First, you will enter your personal information of your name, ID number, phone number, email address, the district of your placement, and the school. There is also a minimum 2.5 GPA that is required, and you will need to fill out the GPA requirement here. Then you will need to sign to say that you attest you meet the requirements to participate in the Student Teacher Emergency Certified Substitute Pilot Program. The application and faculty recommendation must be emailed to EKU Student Teaching at eku.edu by 4.30 p.m. on Friday, October 29th. Again, the due date is 4.30 p.m. on Friday, October 29th. Please do not fill out this section. Do not write or type below this dotted line. This concludes the application process.